Hello everyone. So this is in continuation of a file that uh, was shared, an Excel file in terms of basic calculations on how to approach each and every shot and how to calculate and use the numbers of distance, elevation and wind. Um, there have been some questions and some explanations and a suggestion was to make uh, if possible, how do we explain this better? So here is a little uh, very short video to explain how to use that file it's more about the approach and whether you use the excel file or you can uh, do a mental calculation or use a calculator it's totally up to you but i'll try to play a couple of holes here and uh, and and showcase how to use that file hope you find it useful I have kept the top racer the numbers here so that whenever there is a different spin or something it, it can be quite useful for you to know. So basically we've got a shot here which, uh, which now I'll go back to Excel file. So we got a 94, 94 yard 5 feet and a 9 miles per hour wind always tricky to find the actual you know what the angle is but let's say 94 5 and 9 miles per hour okay so this is the sheet right so we had a 94 yard shot 5 feet of elevation and a 9 miles per hour wind at an angle of I would say about 70% strength. Difficult to estimate that but let's run with 70% for now. And you got two columns here so you enter these values in blue cells here. This is the basic data you would enter for any shot. And you get two columns. One if it is a headwind and the other if it is a tailwind. In our case it is a tailwind so we will look at that. Effectively what this column does is these are white cells which are sort of calculating based on formula 94 yard is your uh, distance 5 feet elevation converted to feet uh, converted to 9 5 feet elevation converted to yards is 1.7 now that's based on this factor of 3 here you can change it you can change it to 2 you can change it to 4 you can change it to 3 whatever I usually work with 3 Longer shots, it can be a lower number, you know, wedges, it can be a lower number, downward elevation, it can be three and a half or four, but I usually stick to three. Anyway, it's up to you based on your experience and uh, combination of your ball spin and the shot that you're hitting. The wind taken into account based on its vertical strength let's say if it if if it were a straight tailwind you would put a hundred percent here um, and as it progresses away the strength reduces if it was an absolute crosswind you would put a zero here right so this percentage represents the vertical strength of the wind um, the calculation here gave a minus 2.6 that means you'd have to hit the shot by that many yards less so effectively 94 yard plus 1.7 for elevation minus 2.6 yards for the wind help and you get effectively the distance to the pin here is 93 yards now based on the shot that you're going to hit um, and based on the spin that you use it may roll backward it may just stay as it lands or it may just roll forward so that's that's the number you have to put in here and that's a question of your experience judgment um, and what you are expecting based on the green that that you are hitting now let's say we try to work with a little little backspin here okay so effectively what it means is that i have to land the ball 94 yards and expecting it to come back one yard right for me to reach the pin which is 93 yards so that's how this calculation works so it gives you an a, an effective distance to the pin 93 yards put in your number of roll in terms of roll forward or roll back 
and you get the distance you want to hit um my club which is 100 yard carries carries 102 based on the ball and the club that i use and effectively it is 92 percent but i for wedges you're not going to do this calculation it, it will be useful for irons um but if we were to use uh, let's say hit an iron this percentage here tells you the power to hit in in, in my case i think it i would have to go about 93 uh, maybe a little more than 93 to get 94 yards out of that shot right so right so we we know the percentage to hit just i would probably go with little back from here Okay, um, close enough, but the idea is to, to explain how to use that Excel file. I would not get too much into details of the putting chart um, because I think there is a, a much better video separately there which addresses much more details on the putting. Solid putt. Alright, so this is an interesting hole and uh, we got a actually headwind better than tailwind here, but 231, 20, 12 miles per hour and about what 60% kind of wind. So let's work with the numbers. Right, so 231. 20 feet 13 and about 60 percent maybe it could be a little more i don't know uh, it's a headwind so this is the column that comes into play mm, let's see what what percentage we are hitting and then so this is of t this is these are the uh, carry distances i have for the combination of my uh, clubs and uh, which is level 97 uh, Callaway Rogue Irons and uh, TM 93 level ball. So this is the distance that carry distance I get at different spins uh, Full backspin for each of the club 80% backspin 60% backspin and if it is hit without spin um, Similarly, this is the first table is for fairway. Similarly, there's another table for uh, shots hit of T uh, which is what we are talking about here. If I go with full backspin 3 wood, it gives me 252 yards carry. So if I enter that here, it gives me 98% power to hit. Um, with this kind of headwind, and uh, I would not expect too much of uh, roll here, but what I would probably want to do is add one for um, one for safety. So minus one, I hit a hit, uh, little, little buffer. So about 98.7% kind of power is what we need to work with. Right, so three wood, full back spin. we go hopefully not so it's about close to 99 a little under 99 obviously not to miss the thing here is the uh, trickiest part on beta version okay that's worked out quite well good testimony to the file here <laughs> Again, not spend too much time on putting, just roll with it, get on to the next hole. Hmm. 
not a good part. Okay, let's see what we got. A little, I think, more of a crosswind here. That's a huge drive. I'd be happy if I could hit 330 yards in real life. <laughs> Okay, so 134 yards, 12, win is tricky, 11 miles per hour, I would say what, 30% kind of help, 30, 40 maybe, so let's work with that. Right, so we had 134 yards, 12 feet, 11 miles per hour. I was saying 30 or 40, I just take a number in between and it's tailwind so we got effectively yardage to the pin of 135, 136. Now there are options here right so you can play with <coughs> let's say if you play with with less pin and you expect a little roll forward of two yards you got an option of hitting 134 yards with 9 iron at 60% backspin. 134 yards is what you would need in terms of carry, so that's good. that's a pretty good match here. 60% backspin, 9 iron gives you 134 carry, and you expect it to roll 2 yards forward, you should be very close to the hole. The other option you have, so let's let me enter that number first. 134. So effectively, it's a almost a hundred percent power shot. In case you went with nine iron, sixty percent backspin. Now the other option is to go with full backspin, eight iron. Now we know the carry here is 144. So if I enter 144, I'm getting about. Now I would not expect a roll forward of two yards in this case. About 94 percent power, and you would have to. It's uphill, it's not a full power shot, so you'd still get, and it's 12 green, so you'd still get some roll forward, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look like a great option, I would think a 60% 9 iron is a much better option to go with. Alright, so we said 9 iron. And 60% kind of backspin somewhere here. All right. Heartbeat, which is always a good sign. Well, there was no roll forward. Uh, it just moved about a yard. We expected it to move maybe a little more. So we short of the hole, but in a in a pretty good place. So I, I hope you know you get the drift in terms of um, you know the Excel file. I think two three points which I would like to call out. The use is very easy. It in fact saves more time. It reduces errors in terms of number work. Um, if you if you can get a hang of shifting between the app and the Excel file based on the device that you're using, I think it can be quite a time saver on the contrary. Uh, putting is where it can be more time consuming, um, sometimes on complicated long parts or with breaks. But otherwise, I think this number calculation is, uh, is uh, very helpful, not only in terms of accuracy of uh, your shots and getting close to the pin, but also in terms of saving time uh, very, very often. I think the other point which is very important is to to know the combination of your club and the ball and to know what's the carry that is going to have a different different spins and if you if you know that well uh, then it boils down to reading the wind correctly and of course hitting the ding 
So with that, I'd like to say bye and hope you find it useful. As always, you're more than welcome to drop a message in case you'd like any more clarification, something is uh, not clear. Happy to do whatever it takes. Bye for now. Happy golfing.